Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to shed some light on home automation. Today we're going to turn a normal lamp into a smart lamp. Let's get started. So here is my setup. I have a VirtualBox client on my main computer that hosts the home automation server, known as HASS, which is going to be the main brains for this project. You can probably use a Raspberry Pi for this project and would probably be more preferable, but I didn't have one, and this works most of the time anyways. For me, I decided to use a Arduino Pro Mini with the NRF24 LL1 because they are both very cheap and the Arduino is very adaptable and of course very easy to program. And for the interface hub, I am using the Arduino Uno with the gateway script from the My Sensors library, which is a super awesome node communication mesh network library. All right, now that that is out of the way, let's start with the first node for my smart house. My first step was to rewire the lamp so the wires from both sockets reach the bottom of the lamp, and I knew I still wanted to control the lamps remotely, so I drilled a hole to run some extra wires for the control buttons. Running the wire turned out to be more challenging than I cared for, so I just wrapped it around like this. I think it adds some character. Next, for the controller slash node electronics, I started with the main components. For me, I decided to use a couple of solid state relays, a Pro Mini, some terminal connectors, a NRF24 chip for the wireless communication, and finally, a LED for a poor man's voltage regulator utilizing the voltage drop across the diode to change the unusable 5 volts to roughly 3.3 volts. I would not recommend using this method for a final product, but it works well enough for me, so I'm going to use it. When I'm prototyping circuits, I like to use some enamel wire and some of the type I had on hand was 28 gauge. I bought off eBay for about $12. Just make sure you heat up the points of the wire you're planning to solder to remove the enamel. Alternatively, you can scrape off the enamel, but I personally find that more tedious, so I will be sticking to the burn off method. All right, now that the hardware is ready, time for the programming. To start off, I used the dimmable LED driver example sketch from my sensors library. As I originally planned on making this a soft on and off dimmable lamp, but it turns out the schematic needs to be a bit different and would also need an extensive amount of programming. But if you feel like you want a challenge, I encourage you to look up zero cross detectors and triac control circuits. So with the example heavily modified to fit the dual bulb lamp, so the lamp retains its light state when powered on and off or unplugged, I uploaded the sketch to the Arduino and watched the My Sensors gateway do its magic and auto detect the lamp with its two light states. With the My Sensors initialize in the configuration YAML for the HASS, the two light states for the lamp automatically show up in the HASS web UI. Great, now that that is all working, I want to make the buttons turn on and off the lamp, which was easy enough to do, but I also have to make sure the state is sent back to the HASS, so back to the sketch I go. Modified the code some more, now with the code modified to send the light state every time a button is pushed, and of course turn on and off the corresponding light. I uploaded the code once again, and yes, the code works as expected. Now the lamp is complete and worked perfectly 
when next to the my sensors gateway but when the lamp was moved into the living room which was across the house with two walls and a TV to go through it had some connectivity issues and was very sporadic on turning on and off so I took another Arduino with a simple proto board to hold another NRF 24 chip and uploaded the repeater node sketch from the my sensors library which closed the distance to the gateway module all right we are almost there this one last step is optional but with the repeater node along with everything else it gives an ugly name to the has ui so we just need to modify the configuration yaml to change the node to a more usable name reboot the server and now everything looks great all right guys this is the first video in a series of projects I'm doing to automate my house please let me know what you think should I use more detail less detail something I didn't cover and you want to know more of I'm going to be uploading videos every two weeks and hopefully more often as I get better with my YouTube videos. I am still learning as time goes on, so please let me know in the comments what I need to work on. Thank you so much for watching this far and stay tuned for next I'm going to show you how I automated my wood fireplace.